Um, I, I would say that the, the group that I guess is before you comes together not as South Carolinians, but as Americans. And, and I mean that in this sense. When you think about the notion of energy independence, it's ultimately not just a South Carolina issue, but an American issue. If you think about this notion of CO2 emissions and, and this idea of clean air, it, it, it's an American issue, not a South Carolina issue. I mean, if you think about this notion that $10 billion has been invested in the upper house over a long number of years, that's ultimately an American taxpayer issue, not a South Carolina issue. And yet the, the Obama administration has proposed a detour from basically a 25-year compact based on simple old-style Chicago politics that are the antithesis of the change that he himself had promised just a couple of months ago in the campaign of, of literally not that much more than a year. And so if you go down that path, we will indeed set back America's quest for energy independence. We will set back America's path for cleaner air and less than we have CO2 emissions, and we will set back the taxpayers up to more than $10 billion. And so I, I, I guess if I to sum it up, this issue is too big to be driven by partisan politics in Washington, D.C. I mean, I, I think we all get it that Harry Reid is in a tough race at Nevada, and give him this would give him a win in a tough race in Nevada, but it would come at great expense to the rest of us as Americans. And so I would say that the president cannot stand if he stood at the State of the Union just a couple of weeks ago and talk about more in the way of nuclear energy, even promising $36 billion in loan guarantees towards the end, but undo a, a bipartisan compact that's been in place for more than 25 years. Because we have to have a permanent storage solution if you want to have more in the way of nuclear energy. I, I would say you can't stand for bipartisan solutions and undo a 25-year solution that's been in place during Republican and Democratic presidential administrations alike. I mean, this thing came in at the tail end of the Carter era, went through the Reagan era, went through the Bush era, went through the Clinton era, went back to the Bush era, and now would be undone by a president based on the fact that the guy's in trouble, or hypothetically might be in some uh, level of electoral trouble, out in the box. That just does not make common sense. I would say the all that you can't stand for the taxpayer and wash down more than $10 billion that's been invested in the upper mountain from taxpayers across this country, well beyond South Carolina. But South Carolina has invested $1.2 billion into this fund. South Carolina taxpayer, $1.2 billion. But if you look, we're not the biggest on the list. If you look, Illinois has invested $1.8. Pennsylvania has invested $1.6 billion. North Carolina has invested $830 million. Alabama has invested $750 million. Florida has invested $770 million. I mean, you can go down the list. But it, it, it is, I, I think, something that underscores the great degree of national investment that has gone into the Yucca Mountain bipartisan solution reached for the Republican side. And so we're here, and we're going to, uh, everybody will speak their turn, and we'll try and get out of here by lunch. Um, but uh, in fairly quick succession, if it would be all right with you, uh, would come uh, Joe Wilson, then uh, Congressman Barrett, then, uh, not that Joe Wilson's not a congressman, um, uh, Lieutenant Governor uh, Andre Bauer, uh, Senator Greg Ryber, Representative Vicki Haley, uh, County Councilman uh, Scott, there, there's Scott. Uh, I don't know how y'all want to do it. Uh, I'll let y'all figure out the local thing. And then we'll have a couple folks speak from Aiken County if that'd be all right with y'all. And uh, everybody say their piece. And uh, we'll move on and uh, go from there. Um, I, I, let me be very specific. Our, our window is fairly short on this thing. I mean, based on what the DOE has done, you basically head to the end of February to do something. And so the first request, I know that at least in this administration, in, in, in administration in, would be that the Obama administration would be reversed itself. Now, if that doesn't happen, then I think you have to look at legal action. And we would uh, implore and ask the Attorney General to file an injunction, because again, we have a short window to the end of February. If that doesn't happen, I suspect Aiken will take it into its own hands and probably do something along those lines since it has standing in Aiken County. I mean, there are a number of different remedies that one can look at, but I think that the important thing for all of us to 
for recognizing the number of taxpayers, is something needs to take place by the end of this month. Uh, part of the solution, and referring off to no recent congressional delegation, make the legislative administration in Washington.